and welcome to solving linear equations in the form ax plus b equals cx plus d with cubic education. Now that title sounds very daunting and a bit scary but all we're going to do in this lecture is solve equations that will have a variable on both sides. Okay so what that means is that we have an equation like this where we have an x on this side of the equals and an x on this side. Now when we have a normal equation, we've gone through a lot of things on equations and equations with brackets, we tend to have something like 3x plus 5 equals 25, or something like that. Okay, not a very good example, but it's not usually, or we haven't yet, sorry, looked at uh, ones with x's on both sides. And when we have an equation like this, it means we need to move uh, all of the x's so that they're, they're all on one side of the equals, and all of the numbers so that they're on the other side of the equals. Now I'll explain that a little bit better. So here is our equation, okay, that I've written down here, and I want you to um, solve this equation for x. Now the way I've written the equation, I've put a barrier here where the equal sign is, because I want you to think of that equal sign as a barrier, and the only way that you can move these numbers and letters around is by doing the opposite of what is already happening to them. So first of all, I want to move this 3x over this side because I want it to be with this 7x. I need to get them together. Now this is a positive 3x and in order to move it over to this side I need to subtract it. Okay, So that means I have to do 7x take away 3x. Okay, So that leaves me with 4x. So on this side, I'm left with 3, okay, because I've moved this one now. And on this side, this now becomes 4x because I've taken away the 3. Alright, and then we've just got the minus 5 on the end. Now the next thing I need to do, because I've got my x's all together now, is move this number so that it can go with the other numbers, okay? I don't want it near my x's. Now in order to do that, I need to do the opposite of what is already happening to this number, and that is add 5. So I need to add 5 to this side over here. So 3 add 5 is 8, and 8 now just has four, equals 4x. This 5 has moved. So I need to do my final step, which is to get x all by itself, and at the minute x is being multiplied by 4. So in order to move that 4 out of the way, I need to divide by 4. And 8 divided by 4 is 2. So 2 equals x. Okay, let's have a look at another example. 1 plus 3x equals 2x minus 2. Solve the equation for x. So I'm going to write out my equation with my yellow barrier line uh, going down there. And I want to move my x's so that they're together. Now just be careful because I can either move the 3x over here, which means I'd have to take away 3x, and 2x take away 3x is a minus x, um, and, I, and I don't really want a minus number, so instead I'm going to move this 2 over to this side, which means I need to do minus 2x, and 3 minus 2x, sorry, 3x minus 2x leaves me with x on its own, so it's not a minus, okay? So now I have my 1 plus my x, because I've moved that, and that equals minus 2 on its own because that's disappeared. So the next thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this 1 and that means I'll have to move it over here by taking away 1. Minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. So we've got x on this side because the 1's moved and minus 3 on this side. So x equals minus 3. All done. Okay, let's do another one, a bit harder now. 9x plus 20 equals 5x plus 44. So I'm going to draw my barrier with my uh, equal sign in the middle-ish. <laughs> and I'm going to think about which x's I want to move. So it's usually the smaller one you want to move it where the bigger one is. Okay. So that's a 5x. That's a smaller number than this. So I'm going to move that over there. So minus 5x then gives me 4x. So 9x take away the 5 gives me 4 plus 20 equals, and then 44 will be left on its own because the 5 moved. So then I want to move this 20 over here. This is a positive 20, so I need to take 20 away. 
So 44 take away 20 gives me 24. And then 4x is just on its own here because the, the 20 has disappeared. And as you can see, I'm writing this down in nice, neat, logical order. Every time I do something, I rewrite my equation. This is how I get all the marks and I don't make any mistakes. Now, the last thing I need to do is get my x on its own. And at the minute, it's being times by 4. So to get rid of that 4, I need to divide by 4. So 24 divided by 4 is 6. So x is now left on its own and it equals 6. Okay, have a go at the following questions. Pause the video and I'll put the answers up. Okay, so your answers then. x equals 11, x equals 1, x equals 9, x equals 20 and x equals 14. Okay, I hope you got all those right and well done if you did. Okay, now let's try setting up and solving an equation. Okay, so setting up and solving an equation is um, a little bit different. So you're given something uh, or like a word problem and you have to solve it. So let's have a look. There is a number such that if you triple it and subtract 20, you get the same as when you double the number and add 4. What is the number? Okay, so we're still going to end up with like um, two lots of x values here. So just be careful, it says there is a number such that if you triple it and subtract 20, okay, so first of all there's a number, let's say that's x. If you triple it, so that means it will be 3x, and you subtract 20, okay, you get exactly the same, so let's put an equal sign because it's saying it's going to be exactly the same as when you double the number, so x doubled, and add 4. So now you have your equation, okay, put in your barrier. We're going to move this 2x over to the 3x here by taking it away. So 3x take away 2x is x minus 20 equals 4. Remember, always keep your equal sign where the line is. Okay, the 2x has disappeared. We're then going to move this 20 over here, and this is a minus 20, so we can add 20. So x is now left on its own, and 20 plus 4 is 24. Okay, what about this one then? I'm thinking of a number, multiplying it by 6 and adding 7. I get the same answer if I multiply it by 4 and add 19. What is the number? Okay, so I'm thinking of a number first of all at this top one. Here's my number, x, I don't know it. I multiply it by 6, so I get 6x, and I add 7. Okay, and then I get exactly the same number, so equals, if I multiply it by 4, so we've got our number, we're multiplying it by 4, and we add 19. What is the number? Okay, so again, now you've got your equation, you can put your line in. We're going to move the 4x over to the 6x by taking it away. 6 take away 4 is 2, so I end up with 2x plus 7 equals, and then the 19 is left on its own. Then we're going to move the 7 over by taking it away. So moving the 7 over gets rid of the 7 off this side. 19 take away 7 is 12. So we've got 2x on its own equals 12. And finally, we need to divide by 2 to get this x on its own. Okay, so x now equals 12 divided by 2 is 6. Okay, so... Have a go at the following questions for a little bit more practice and uh, I'll press play for the answers. Okay, if you've had a go, um, here are your answers. So x equals 8, y equals 21, w equals 7, z equals 10, v equals 9 and n equals 4. Okay, well done. Uh, thank you very much for using Cupid Education. I hope that was really useful and I look forward to seeing you next time.